guys and welcome back to Mochi Design. Today we are going to use a method that I found on YouTube of sketching first and just to get the animation down and then moving the actual character. So that is what we're going to do. The thing with that is I am a beginner so you know it can be a little tough to figure out how to do certain things and to learn so usually i would pretty much finish a very short animation for every single video that i put out but then i don't really get to improve because i need more time to do certain things like clean up to make it look nice and just to get the animation part down as well so there's a lot of different modes and things that I need to do in order to progress and maybe freelance in the future be a freelance animator possibly you never know so I started off with a very simple illustration what she's doing is she is going to reach out and pick up that dog and so I am roughly animating I also used a reference as well and the reference is going to help me to kind of see what it needs to look like but as you can see it goes up and down if you can see where the head is it's at different levels it's going down and back up again and then it's also showing which leg is where as well and that is the walk cycle there so I am just practicing a bit with that and technically, I was thinking, I probably, since I have a reference, I probably could have just used the reference and then not use my own sketch. But this is something that I need to do in the future anyway. I need to be able to sketch things out and figure out all different types of animations, not just the walk cycle. It's so easy to Google the walk cycle, how to make your animation look like it's walking. But it seems to be harder to find things that are specific like a ballet dance for an as an example so that is why we are using a sketch as well and i am lining it up with this and seeing how we can have it done and you also she's going to be looking to the right side so i want the face to change as well and by sketching it out i was able to figure out exactly the time that I wanted her eyes to move or change. This is a very fast version of it. You see this, everything happens very quickly, but I didn't want it to look like she was running. I want it to be a little bit slower because if she's running to a little dog like that, the dog is probably going to run away. I don't know, depending on the dog. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more space between each animation and then to kind of fill it in a little bit as well um and i think i def well i know i know i need to work on it's called the in-betweens i need to work on that because i did put some in-betweens in there but i kind of liked how it looked more you'll see how i ended up looking but i kind of liked how it looked more with less space when i just went straight with what was on the actual walk cycle reference so I am pu putting little bits of animation in between, just one animation in between each of the key frames. And I'm just trying to make it kind of go together with this. I really like doing stick figures. That may have to be a series or something on the on Mochi Design because it's just so fun to practice with stick figures because you can do things very quickly and it's a very like laid back type stick figure. I wouldn't even call it a traditional stick figure, but you see how easy that is. But then when you start moving the body, it becomes a little bit more confusing as to where the legs are, where the arms are, um, because things start to overlap maybe at that point maybe the audience would expect some type of shading some type of lighting they would expect maybe the environment environment to move but when it comes to a stick figure you don't really need to do all of that so you can just keep it simple but i left the dog on there for a second so that i can know exactly where the 
character needs to reach. Um, and I was going to sketch out the dog when I was like, hmm, the dog isn't really going to move. Maybe eventually the dog will move. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we'll have the dog move eventually. But right now, we're just moving the body and selecting. So I'm trying to select just the body. But the interesting thing about Adobe Animate, depending on what settings you have, if you select it, it'll select exactly what you selected. So let's say the arms is long a certain length if you select less than that certain length it's not going to select it it's not going to automatically select it see as you can see there it separated it depending on where i use the lasso tool on and the lasso tool is almost like a rope that you can draw around the figure and it's good to keep it simple as you can see here i am easily able to kind of change things and erase things um, on the last series we also did it so that we can break apart each of the symbols because this is from adobe illustrator you can break it apart and that way you can actually erase it and when you erase it it's not going to change the symbols that are there already so that makes it so much easier there's so much work to do with this but we are going to get it done and we are going to learn I feel like my faces, although her hair is kind of in front of her face, maybe that's the style, I feel like my faces are doing pretty good, but it can definitely improve on the bodies and the positions of the bodies, and you will see that soon. The position of the body needs to improve just when you turn to the left, turn to the right, it's just a different angle. It needs to look more natural. Now, I did see a 2D animation. I think it was on TikTok and it was so simple. There wasn't much they did. When they wanted to change the facial expression, they just moved the body, moved the actual eyes over. They didn't change the face shape. They didn't change the body either. It's the way that they made the body was so that you wouldn't even need to change anything it just works and the arms is this everything just works in a very easy simple manner and i would love if i was to do a series or something like that i would love to do something like that because then i can put out an episode every week i've noticed with animation channels you don't really get that every week type upload you get very sporadic couple of months sometimes only twice a year you'll get a video and they do really well but they don't really put out that much material so this is the refinements um the refinements layer and that is just me trying to move her head over <laughs> a little bit so that she's looking to the side instead of straight forward and so i just put that on another layer so that i can just draw over what i need fix the hair a little bit move the eyes and we have different copies here as well we have mouth copy left eye copy right eye copy because i needed to erase certain parts and it was making it so that it was erased and gone forever so i needed to make a copy of that and that helped it looks like now she's you ever seen the dog with the spot like the circle around the eyes the spots she's looking like that but that's just the sketch coming up showing up because the sketch is pretty much on top of the layers i don't think it's on top of the refinement layer but it's on top of the different layers there so that's why you still see that but we're going to erase that and i'm just making little quick edits that i can go back on and fix in the future and this is the eyebrows. She has some interesting eyebrows there. Um, and so what I was uh, talking about before with freelancing is my goal. Fiverr, Upwork, all of those websites. Um, and I don't need too much money. So just a little bit would go a long way. But I still need to have the skills necessary to be able to quickly give someone an animation. Let's say I tell them it's $20 for this animation. I don't want to spend a week or more on that animation for $20 that doesn't make it sustainable. And a lot of people can do it in a lot quicker of a time. Let's say you want to just do a few second animation you can do this in a lot quicker of 
a time if you really get good at it and find the processes that works for you the best. So that is that. And so I really think that this would be a cool career for a lot of different people to be able to animate. And I hope you guys are going to join me on this journey of learning animation. So on here, now I'm just making sure everything is the same. We see the lips here was a little bit different. It was more of a sad, if you look on the right, it was more of a sad face type, um, pout type thing. But I wanted it to be a little bit happier because she saw the dog and what is these legs doing? <laughs> this is the loop. So it's looping right here. And that is why it looks like that. And it's just looping in that little area that I have highlighted. And so that's why that is how that looks. Um, and so I'm just fixing the eyes because the eyes are looking a little wonky and erasing the sad mouth as well. And so I am excited for the progress that I hope that I will see doing it this way, just learning certain things. I'm just going to use the polygon tool this time. So the polygon tool is make straight lines to make a selection. And I actually like using that tool, especially for the leg, because the legs are almost straight lines in the square and then I can just go back afterwards and fill in the rest of the pants and so the design on the pants was giving me a problem because I didn't break it apart I left it as a group so um to move them I should have just broken it apart but I may end up doing that in the future but to move them I needed to kind of make it look like it was still the same shape, but that it was still attached to the legs that were moving. She has a white belt and it's hard to see. As you can see, it looks like she kind of is missing a part of her body or she's like two halves of herself. When the background comes back, you will see more of a belt. I'm not saying it's perfectly showing, but you will see more of a belt. Here is her body moving, half of it moving over. And then, as you can see, only part of her face because we made those refinements. So I had to make sure the head was also attached. And you see how easy this is. Now, I'm not saying it's going to come out perfect. It's not what I'm saying. But to be able to easily kind of use the stick figures use the rough draft and then to easily be able to have a map of what you're going to do next was really good so yes you guys i want to thank you for being a part of this and i will hope that you will subscribe as well and have a great rest of your day today bye